Hey guys, so I just got done with my persuasive speech, and uh, I think it went all right. You know, I felt like the purpose of the speech was it was the first like major speech um, that you did in front of the camera, and I felt like it was just like to learn not not only the, how to do everything, but uh, to learn how to persuade people and use like logos and stuff like that. Uh, how did I feel going into the speech? I felt a little calmer than I did going into the last one because I had done the whole outline and stuff before and I kind of knew what was going on better. Uh, so I felt a lot better going into this speech. Um, how did I make sure my ethos was high? Uh, gun control is actually something I know a lot about because I did a lot of hunting back home and I made sure to cite my quotes and stuff to make sure my ethos sounded like, like I actually knew what I was talking about, which I, I kind of didn't know what I was talking about in this one. So I felt like that helped my ethos. Um, was my technology prepared? Whew. This one, I had to do, redo my speech like the first two times because when I recorded it, um, my, my video, like the files got messed up or something and it was a, it was a big pain in the butt. But once I got that figured out, I got it re-recorded, I got it done. But if I just would have known that from the start, I could have fixed that file problem a lot sooner, but I got it figured out now. My technology is good now. Uh, what, uh, what element felt natural to me in transitions and stuff? The whole, like, hand sign thing felt kind of weird. Like, I don't know. It's just not normal for me to be, like, first main point. I, I, it just, it felt a little weird to me, but at the same point, I helped, like, I felt like it kept, it kept the, it kept it structured. Kept my speech structured for me. Um... Did you how did you consider your audience when developing your speech? When I was developing my speech, I considered the audience by um, I explained a couple of like wildlife conservation. I explained it a little more in depth because I felt like not everybody knows exactly what that means in some of the topics. I made it a little more natural and stuff like that. Uh, my strongest persuasive argument, I felt like oof, oh, there's a few of them, but the wildlife conservation, I think was my strongest argument because if you take away guns you you don't have any of that funding for all of that and I think that really should have connected people more about with that um, how did you feel, take advantage of the logos in your presentation um I tried to take advantage of logos by using like a simile in my f first main point um, yeah I connected like driving a car how when you drive a car, it's not the car's fault when you get an accident. I connected that to your gun, like how it's not the gun's fault when you shoot someone, it's the person that pulls the trigger. And I helped like that helped, um, I feel like that helped re like relate people. And how I, my introduction, I related it to how you could just be inside watching TV and a scenario like that could happen. And I feel like that made it more personal and it, apply, it uh, applied to more people. Um, what did you do in your speech that worked? Uh, like I said before, I feel like, um, the parts of my speech that did work were the parts like, uh, my introduction where I started with the scenario where you can, it could happen to anyone and how I appealed to people like that. And then what I didn't, I, the hand sign thing, it just, it, it didn't really work with me. I don't know, I felt awkward doing it. So I feel like that's what didn't work in my speech. And connect your experiences in class and concepts. So, like I said before, how I compared the car, how driving the car um, and getting in an accident, how it's not the car's fault but the driver's fault, and how the same thing with a gun, it's not the gun's fault but the, the person that pulls the trigger. I feel like that simile, I used the simile that's on page 128, uh, where it talked about comparing similes to make things more relatable and I think that uh, that's what I use for the connecting the concepts from the chapter um so I think that answers all the questions I if you have any doubt about gun control go watch my video I'll convince you that you should be against it and Lucas Sternhagen signing off thanks